Hey, looky here, looky here. Tony Cavalier with this weather extra, which starts with a pleasant day on Wednesday after the frosted chill for the morning school bell at 28. We'll hit 58 at the end of the day with sunshine. Top 10 wannabe, top 10 shorty on Thursday when the temperature gets to 65 degrees. We've been talking about this atmospheric river out west. It has sent lots of snow into the Rocky Mountain states, still raining in California. But overall, if we were to track or trace the seam of moisture known as the atmospheric river, it's come more than 3,000 miles from south of Hawaii into southern California. And along that trek, it has wrung out many inches of rain in California, especially in Los Angeles, close by to LA, 300 mudslides alone in that part of Southern California. And the rains are still prevalent. Any new rains simply going to exacerbate the problem. Although in time, the pattern will wane as we get into the day on Wednesday before a new atmospheric surge of moisture comes down into Southern California, second half of the week. But for us, high pressures in control on Wednesday with sunshine. The atmospheric river has broken apart, but does send enough moisture and energy into the Mississippi Valley for a couple showers to our west on Thursday. By Friday, a shower is possible from the remnant of the river's energy passing by, but overall relatively rain free. And then Saturday is a big question. Will we get enough southern moisture on the backside of this high pressure to give us a little rain for a few hours? I think that's a strong possibility. By Super Bowl Sunday, it's a race, cold, dry air from the north, and the next southern storm. We'll be dry, I expect, for Super Bowl party travel. And then by Monday, that cold air and the southern moisture, we'll see where that might link up. Right now, expectations are the rains will be just to our south on Monday. If those rains are a little farther north and the cold air is a little quicker coming in, we would have the opportunity for some wet snow. But we'll keep you posted on that possibility. The overall pattern, look at the woeful coverage of snow on the ground across the United States. Yes, New England ski resorts. Yes, the Rocky Mountains and Sierra. But in early February, you should have a heck of a lot more snow cover than we have right now. If you're a snow lover, well, the good thing is there's a change in the pattern coming on. So we're going from the above normal temperatures to normal temperatures. In other words, we'll have days in the 40s next week, if not 30s at the end of the week. A pattern like that sets the stage for the possibility of at least some snow into the middle of February. Remember, we're in an El Nino winter, which oftentimes favors eastern West Virginia and the skyline drive over to the Piedmont for some snow. So at least there's the chance as we get to mid-February for some rain changing over to snowfalls in our part of the world. Basically, we had 10 inches of snow in mid-January, and now we've been snowless the rest of the season. We'll keep you posted on at least the possibility down the road of some snow in the middle of February into March, because after all, that period normally winds up with 10 inches across our area. And that's my very latest at WSAZ.com. I call it Weather Extra.